What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today Hey, we are back with another cricket memes episode here on this Friday morning Yeah, it is for I just had to double check on my I'll edit that out probably anyway, but hey we are going into episode 143 I believe if not I'll figure it out when I edit the damn video. Hey, we're just gonna jump straight into this one um, there's been, I mean, again, the IPL world. These are always, it's always my favorite time to record meme episodes when it's IPL season. Uh, honestly, just because the, the amount of cre creativity, the amount of little memes that you can get out of every single game, it's an absolute pisser um, and definitely worth it. So, hey, we are going to jump into it here. If you are new, subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. Uh, an emoji, uh, a mathematic equation. Um, your current thoughts on the political scheme of five different countries. Anyways, I'll, I'll edit that out. All right, we're going to jump straight into this one here. We've got a rare image of Ishan Kishan hitting a boundary. Wow. And you see there, that's a really nice shot. I love the uh, the back foot. You know, he's kept the back foot in the crease. You know, if MS Dhoni was behind there, he would stump him. So that's definitely a good look. Um, I mean, look, if I was him, I'm, I'm looking to probably bend my elbow a little bit more. I'd like to see him bend that knee a little bit more. So, I need to work on there. But, no, I like it. You know, at least he's getting a boundary or two. Oh, man. LSG invite Indian um, and UP... Um, I should... Wait. That Uda Pradesh, yeah? Wheelchair team to practice session. Nice. I love this sort of stuff right here. That's big ups right here, the LSG. This is the sort of stuff that motivates you as well. Like, this is the stuff that gets your team in the middle part of the season. It keeps that motivation nice and fresh. Absolute legends right there. Anyone who's playing cricket and is a legend, but anyone who is, you know, is, is in a wheelchair and still has the love to play cricket and, and, and that, that is, you know, honestly awesome. That's what sport does, real. Watching MI Funeral <laughs> with VIP Pass? No! <laughs> the man, Bumra. Oh, you know, it's good to see he's working on that academy of injured players, so... Well, and speaking of that academy, that is actually funny timing. I swear on... I, I did not set that up at all. Bumra Academy of Injured Players. Wow, wow. Look who was in the academy. Destructive duo for MI destroying MI. <laughs> I did hear that he went to an elbow specialist. I Is he going to come back and play or what? I hope. He is. RCBN's trolling MI fans for Joffre's picnic tour. Meanwhile, Hazelwood. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with that man, Josh Hazelwood. I thought he was meant to be ready by, like, the start of, like, around the 20th of April. What's the date? It's the 28th of April, so where the hell is he? Is he, like, is he locked in his room, eating Vata Pavs every day? Like, what, what, what's going on, Josh? I know you're a fan of the channel. Comment down below, Hazelwood, and, and, and let us know what's going on. Easy victory for Cole Carter. They need one run in 20 overs. I, don't, I think they lost that one as well, so that was a tough chase for them. Uh, six games have been in Chinnaswamy. Uh, Suraj completes 100 dot balls this season. He has played most of his games at Chinnaswamy, which is a batting paradise, yeah. And is the purple cap holder. So, it's a start. That's, you know, what, nothing, 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 nothing. The 100's awesome. And that was a great 100. Well played, boys. <laughs> you know what? Wait. Oh, man. I wonder if, uh... You know what? It had to be on their minds. It at least had to be on Shookman's mind. Like, you cannot tell me that they do not see the memes, that they don't see the Instagram comments and all of that stuff, man. You know what? And I think it was pretty disrespectful from Rowett not to give Arjun four overs. You know, he's playing against Shookman Gill. He needs to show a bit of that alpha, you know. That's someone who's trying to be with your sister, you know. You need to you know, you need to be the alpha over Shookman Rowett said, I don't give a fuck. You're only bowling two overs. And that upset me. Because I think he would have... He might have taken three for... And he might have taken the chocolates at home. So, yeah. He may have been the big spoon that night. So, yeah, stiff. 
Yeah, I'll probably edit that one out. Is this the end of Andre Russell? Ah, oh, man. Now, I don't know, but he hasn't been batting that well. Maybe it's time you just get him up the order for Cole Carter. Maybe. Maybe you play a guy like Jagger Desan down the order instead, and then you let Dre Russ come in at opening if you wanted, or first drop, number four. Like, I understand he's never really done that, but you got to try something. Like, he, he, I think he took, like, three wickets the other day with the ball, but other than that, he hasn't really gone big. Um... I think you had like a 30-something at the start of the season, or like a 40. But other than that, it's been slim pickings. Nice test knock by Jack <laughs> t -son. Hey, I liked it. You know what? He had to play as the anchor role for, um, for, for Jason Roy. Um, frustration. Pro tip for RCB fans. Turn off your TV after KGF's wicket. It'll be good for your mental. Yeah, I mean, not wrong. Yeah, the KGF, I mean, they are getting carried by those three at the moment. It's, I mean, they need the GOAT, Mahipa Lomroa, to uh, stand up, I think. RCB will now play five consecutive away games in the next 25 days? Damn. Yeah. So their next home game is in the 21st of May. So they've got like a whole, like over, or just under a month of not playing at home. Wow. Okay. To be fair, they have played a lot of their games at home already, so it does make sense. Damn. Might be time to get rid of Faf out of my fantasy team. Will these hurt RCB playoffs hopes? Look, I don't know because we have to find out if they make it or not. But <laughs> If, if this continues, yes, because the, that just can't happen. Like, it, it's impossible to, to, to even win a title or probably even make playoffs when you've only got three batsmen making runs. You've only got really one bowler taking big wickets. Like, Hasa Rungas maybe getting a few now, but in a little bit. Uh, even in our worst season, we have managed to do the double over them. Over, yeah, well, Cold Carter fans, man, you celebrate any win. Had both wins over RCB. Last time when RCB won against Kolkata at Chinnaswamy, Mumbai had one trophy. What the fuck? Why do RCB lose so much at home against Kolkata? <laughs> Bro, it's at home. Zahir Khan and Suag were active players. Kohli had 2,800 runs. Instagram didn't even have a story feature. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a damning stat, isn't it? RCB top three, the middle. <laughs> That's some good cosplay right there. Nice. Damn, they missed the man AB to pull them out of those situations. Not there anymore, is he? So maybe it's time to ask AB pull on pull on the stripes, mate. We need you out there. Fucking hell, Virat might have to get him out there and stick him out there in the middle. All okay when there's DK? Oh, no. That might, uh, that, yeah. I assume that was before the season started. That's not a good look. Oh. I am the danger to my own team. <laughs> no, leave the man DK alone. I can't. I, I, I'm sorry. I love, I love DK. He's a good dude. He deserves the world. I'm going to leave him alone. Leave him alone. I'm not here to, to pick on the man D. Okay. Cole Carter fans look so happy on the timeline. Must be a game against RCB. Pretty much. Cole Carter versus RCB in the last five at Shinaswami. All five have been won by the Knight Riders. That is... That's kind of fucked up, isn't it? Like, how does that actually happen? I think that man Dre Russ has won a few of them there, but... Nowadays, even Hong Kong players... Was that man Chapman a Hong Kong player? I didn't even know that. It's kind of funny. Hong Kongian legend. I'm going to use that now for the man Mark Chapman. Mumbai man wins 25 crores in betting by doing the opposite of what Akash Chopra predicts. <laughs> Bro, you can make a whole fucking living off what, you know, if you do the opposite of what he says. Goodness me. Uh, if, you're, if you're playing with DK in your team, that means you were already two to three down. 
one is his own wicket and one to two are run outs. I'm not going to lie, though. I think Prabhu Desai should have been running that second. Like, I know he ended up getting run out, but I thought DK... The second run was there. I didn't think it was DK's fault. Not, not ideal, that, is it? No, it's not. Definitely not his ideal, but you move on. Update. Oh, wait, hold on. From Mumbai Pulley. Update on Punjab Kings failed to prove whether they are an active IPL franchise or not. What? We found no difference between Rising Poon Super Giants and the... What the fuck? Bro, why are we catching strays from the Mumbai police? What the hell did we do? All we did was win a game against Mumbai and it's just been absolute abuse from Mumbai police. Like, what's going on, guys? All right, am I going to be able to enter Mumbai one day without getting arrested? <laughs> fuck it out. Damn, failed to prove whether they are an active franchise. I mean, we beat you. That's that's pretty active, all right? Have some fucking respect. <laughs> Coley and Rowett in ICC 50 over knockouts. Hmm, okay. I mean, Coley averaging just a mere 30, no hundreds. You got Rowett, two tons, and average of 56, okay? The man Hitman. Hey, Al. <laughs> Damn, Rowett. Oh, man. Although, this isn't too bad from Rowett, is it? Like, seven innings. He averages over 56. I think that's pretty good, right? I'd say those are pretty good numbers. 200s in knockouts. That's pretty good. Partial B like I'm tired. Bowling out that 121 kilometer. Getting smashed through cover. And then a 140 kilometer. Yeah. Smashed away again. That man, Purple Patel. Not, not ideal. He's so hit or miss, Harshal. Losing match, uh, losing most matches as captain against opponent. Coley, 12 times against Kolkata. Yikes, that's... I mean, that's what happens when a team owns Rinku Singh. It's really hard to beat them. You know, even if he wasn't there before that, it's still just impossible to beat them. It's, um, Rinku, like, he was always going to be there. It makes sense. Uh, for the first time in IPL 2023, a batter got out and his team fans celebrated despite Dhoni not being the next in. Dug a Sun Mass. And the man, yeah, so obviously they got a little bit of uh fight back there, can I? Rick Big Shaw won the orange <laughs> Yo, what's going on? The man had to buy himself his own orange cap? <laughs> oh, no. They're going to run with the memes on this one, Pritvi. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Anyways. Oh, the man Harris Ralph just sitting in the in the uh, New Zealand section. I think that man wants uh, a New Zealand citizenship. I don't blame him. New Zealand is a beautiful country. Um, although, could you imagine... Harris Ralph playing for New Zealand, like with Trent Bolt, Southie, uh, even Ferguson, Kyle Jamieson, if he was ever healthy, uh, Neil Wigner, although I think he retired, uh, Colin DeGre no, Colin retired as well, that's pretty much it, but you guys get me, like imagine if Ralph was bowling on those quick New Zealand decks, holy fuck, Polkata registered its fifth, like that is, this is a ridiculous stat, RCB versus Dally in Dally. That man Verat, he does not play around when he's back home, does he? Fucking hell. Uh, Sonny Gavaskar picks his team India for the World Test Championship final. So he's got Shutman, Rohit, Pujara, um, Kohli, Rahane. That's nice. I like that. Uh, KL, Jadu, Ashwin, Jadev, Unidkat, Muhammad. I thought it said Bami, Shami, and Muhammad Siraj. I think he's uh, probably on the money here. I mean, Shireyas Ayer is not expected to be fit. And even if even if Ayer was fit, I think you'd rather play Rahane or KL. In saying that, KL, he'd want to fucking perform, wouldn't he? I mean, goodness me, he'd want to do something. Rahane, that's a good feel story right there. So, yeah, I agree with this team. I like the pick of Jadev wanted to cut as well. I would be playing him easily. Like, them England decks, that ball, he's going to get it to go both ways. We've got a lot of left-handers in our team. He's going to steam in. 
David Warner, Head, Marcus Harris if he's playing, um, Renshaw if he gets a gig, like we, Kawaja, you know, so it's, I think that'll be a good selection by them to pick Unid Cut. Siyash, yeah. Man, he's been awesome. Siyash Sharma, and then this. Why does it look like he's about to smack his ass? Is that it? No! Okay, get me off that. <laughs> Why does it look like that? He has been giving hints. Uh, they'll have a new captain. We have lots of games, and the coach will be under pressure if I say something. Damn! It's the last phase of my career. They're trying to... I don't even want to read it. It's too emotional. Um, I think he's still going to play for another 15 years. I don't... Uh, uh, I don't want to think about it. Uh, with Masjid uh, at Uma... Wait. With Masjid at Uma Akmal? Yo, I think, I think Uma Akmal's spelling is rubbing off on some people. <laughs> the man right there, Uma Akmal. Spelling God. Uh, Mumbai man wins. I mean, look, it's it makes sense. And I actually might have to start getting on on some of this business. It just seems like a pretty flawless money scheme. You know, hey, nobody will ever pull the crowd the way Messi did. Uh, although, I think Bangalore would, would look something like this if they won a title. And if they brought... Like, no, hold on. Wait a minute. This would be Bangalore if they brought back Moses on Reeks and then won a title. That would be like the biggest reunion ever. Like imagine bringing back, you know, Moses to the to the city that everyone just adores and loves him in. And um, yeah, better than AB, you know, I think if they're looking, you know, AB's had his time. You know, Moses is still available. Uh, I think he would make, you know, hit, if he hit a match winning 85 not out of like 40 in the final to win RCB the trophy, that would be Bangalore. That would be Bangalore. Don't you worry. No, I believe it. I think it'll still happen, so don't worry. Damn, so they have lost 14 games when chasing 200 and only won one. Yeah, they're going to have to figure that out. And, and I'm glad that someone's posted about this. So England players considering IPL deals over central and county contracts. Now, firstly, I don't, I don't know fully how it would work. Would it mean that so they would then not become an England player? Like, they wouldn't be able to play international cricket for their country, is what I believe. So, are you willing to give up your pride, your loyalty of playing test cricket or red or white ball cricket for your country, representing your, your nation? Are you willing to give that up? I sure as hell wouldn't. If I'm a professional cricket player, the biggest pride... And the biggest, like, achievement that you can do as a professional cricketer, in my opinion, is playing a test match for your country. Like, I think that's, in my opinion, the the bare roll, like, that is the achievement in cricket you want to get to is playing a test match for your country. Playing any, you know, sort of format for your country. If these guys just go and sign these big contracts under IPL teams, they're going to be literally owned by the BCCI. They're not going to be able to play anywhere but the IPL. So it's, they're going to play like eight weeks of the year and then they're never going to play again. You're not going to see them. Or they might be playing like, you know, in the South Africa League or the 100 League. Like they'll only play T20 League. That's that's boring. That's shit in my opinion. I... I International cricket will forever be my number one. Test cricket will forever be my number one. So to hear that English players are thinking it is disappointing, to be honest. But I guess each to their own, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm a, Sorry, I got a little bit flustered there with this incredible photo that came up. Wait, no, bro. I left an entire franchise. <laughs> that can't be real. Jesus, he looks ripped. Finally back to the place where he belongs. Damn it. Okay, DK, I've got you back. Alert, scam, 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 scam. The man Shabazz Ahmed, yeah, has not gone to plan for him. Wasn't he in the Indian team against uh, Bangladesh and um, Ireland last year, I think it was, or the year before? And then the man Lomraw, yeah. I still think Lomraw can, can play a role for that team, but... Yeah, he's going to have to do. Basic. 
fruit's job is to supply water. Yes, sir. Although I don't think that's water. What what the hell is this? Why is it pink? I don't know what sort of formula he's uh, whipping up in there, but I hope it's safe to con... I low-key wish that they would give him a game, but like, who the hell does he come in for? Like, like how do you get him into that team? I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the real question, but hey, he is swirling up some good drinks, and that's what matters. Holly does anything. Amraman at a nushka in the box. <laughs> that's facts on on everything. They do that, bro. They zoom in like so. It's just her face in the cam. It's all load. Oh what? Yo, what the hell's going on? I have. N oh, they, bro. Are they meant to be dancing. Oh, I thought they were gonna hit him with the stick or something. I was worried for the man. Nose is the secret of my energy. But Arjun, the Arjun, yeah. Oh no, brother, picking for gold. Oh, and he ate it. Fucking hell. <laughs> and he ate it. No! Arjun on camera? Like, do that in your spare time, but getting caught on camera is an all type of down bad. Gee whiz. Although, sometimes you have to do what you gotta do, so, you know, I respect the hustle. Some RCB fans clearly understanding. Um, well, that's just an RCB fan in their natural element right here. This is the expressions that you do get. Um, shock, you just can't believe what's happening as an RCB fan. Uh, this guy down here, he's ready to go fucking mental. Um, this guy here, he's asking, how is DK still in the team? This guy here is asking, why do I support RCB? So, you know, it's good times. Always good times at the cricket. And, um, isn't that what you go there for? To get frustrated and let yourself, let, let your frustrations be heard. RCB team this year. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, I mean, although, again, Lom Raw did hit a very nice 38 the other day, so let's not be disrespectful now. All right, that was pretty goatful. Oh, no. Not the poor kid, he's about to get roasted. Kid, his father, year 2050, still waiting to join school. Oh, man. I also don't know why I went the big screen, because then Twitter decides I'm going to walk. Oh, wait, here we go. Never mind. But, uh, yeah. That's in I wonder if that kid's actually not in school. It's probably real. <sighs> the man, honestly, the man Akash giving out free money. Lords discussing next new ways to humiliate RCB next year. Well, it might only be that man Rinku Singh because the Lord Takua is not even in the body team. Hopefully it's just an injury and he's going to be okay because I find it strange that Paul Carter would keep out an, an all-rounder who you don't have to use an international spot on, you know? He can bowl, he can bat, you know? Seems all right to me. <laughs> I would take him at Punjab in a fucking millisecond. He, bro, give him to Punjab and we will give you... I don't know, like, uh, honestly, you can have Raj Barwa for now, and then we'll have him back next year because he's injured, so that'd be not. Whenever RCB lose, good morning, sunshine. <laughs> what? What's one thing you would change about cricket? Holly to be banned from playing against Pakistan. <laughs> Parag Shabazz. So this is like a, a verse right here. So matches five, 54 runs. Matches eight, 42 runs. So they're both pretty much as shit as each other at the moment. And at least Shabazz has the opportunity to bowl. I think he's bowled a few overs. I don't think Parag was actually given the ball. He might have been. Um, I can't remember. And if I'm being real with you, I'm, I've ne like, Rian Parag, man, sort yourself out. You've actually disappointed me. Like, I, I was coming into this season, we heard all them statistics about how he was dominating the... Um, it was either the Irani Trophy or the Guwahati Trophy. I, it's either one of those. I can't remember. 
sorry, whichever one it is, but um, he was dominating one of those tournaments before the IPL, and I'm thinking, okay, that man Rian's about to arrive. He's about to actually be a good impact for Rajasthan. The man sucks. He sucks. He is not good. Give me an opportunity. I've got some better right arm overs. And, I, and hey, put me in at four or five with the bat. Um, or, or opening. I would love to be alongside Butler, but you know, probably have to push out Jaius Wall, which would make sense. Talk about it. Talk about it, Sanju. Pakistan tour of Zimbabwe. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, Zimbabwe, baby. He's going back to his hometown. His life, his livelihood. The people that generate, well, most of his runs. Are, that's, you know, that's big ups. That's um, Sean Williams right there, or Ryan Burl. I can't remember the name. Hey, that's going to be legendary. That might be the greatest series this year. Man, Bar Bar might just score one, two, three, four, five. He might just score six hundreds. That's insane. Wonder if Raza is going to play. Who wins in seven games? I've I've seen this script before. Lost five of the seven in 2014. Won nine out of the last nine. Won the 2014 IPL. So, and was that the year that is that that man Robin? Um, when he won the um uh, the Orange Cap that year. Too. Oh. Mm. Who else is? Is that Isha? Who else is that? No. What? I was, wait. Is that Piyush? Is that Piyush Chawla? I didn't know the man Piyush Chawala had made a century or something. He's raised the bat. Man, Piyush was also an, a legendary batsman. Who would have thought? Double hundreds in test cricket. And Shan Madushanka, one in four innings. Baba, none in 85. Who's the real GOAT? You have to start questioning. You know, Madushanka versus Baba. Two, you know, arguably two of the greats, obviously. Aren't they playing against Ireland? Yeah, I haven't actually tuned in, but I have been seeing the scores, and I know that man Kusal has been dominating like usual, so. I need someone to translate here. Um, although this is a really cute photo. Look at the cute little cat. Cute little cat, man. Anyways. Okay, let's, uh, let's see this. Whoever edited this, it looks... Clean. It looks wrong. It looks it, it looks disgusting. I'm gonna be honest. This does not look right. This, even as an Australian, this makes me sick. Like, don't don't do this. Don't Photoshop. Um, I don't know if any of this is true. I'm not even gonna believe any of it. But India is so lucky, man. Kohli from Rawalpindi and Baba from Hoshi both play for India when they face each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like that edit looks terrible like ugh, i cannot picture him in a pakistan kit at all like and honestly same thing goes for for like a i don't know let's say if it was like a show bakta that was photoshopped in an ink kit, it would look so fucking weird wouldn't it slow down at the zebra crossing just like verat used to slow down near 50 I know, as soon as he gets close to that 50, he does kind of settle a little bit, doesn't he? Uh, Dhoni's inputs were taken by the Indian Team Management and Selection Committee before recalling Rahane for the WTC final. Yes. That's right. So Dhoni Impact. Honestly, he might as well just be the captain, uh, the coach by now. Also. Steve Smith is worse among all Aussie captains in history. Damn. So this is 2016 to 2018. Uh, got whitewashed in Sri Lanka. I don't fucking remember that. Uh, got banned in... Yeah. Yep. Lost to Bangladesh. Uh, only captain to lose both home and away series to South Africa. ODIs. First Aussie captain to lose 5-0 in a series. That's not good. Uh, lost a series in India 4-1. Yeah, we don't speak of that. Uh, lost 2-1 in New Zealand. I don't remember that. Never won a series in Asia. Uh, yep. Lost 4-1 in home against the Pommies. So, yeah, that's always a good look in the base group. Hey, look, okay. I love Smudge. 
But to be fair, I've I've never thought that he should um test captain. I love him as test skipper. I don't really give a shit like you know test skipper. But then again, it's Pat Cummins' team now. Like I've already moved. I don't want him as captain. But as our next backup, yes. Although look at 2018. Oh, here we go. Boomerers Academy, another member. They welcome Washington Sundar with open arms. But no one cares, though. Jesus, that's brutal. But uh, damn. So I believe he's now ruled out of the entire IPL, which is a big blow for, for the Hyderabad. But he hadn't actually done much this season. But he did play well in their last game. So. Who's going to come in? Like, I don't know. Is Abhishek Sharma going to start rolling over the arm? He might have to. Uh, Bangalore police. Avoid crossing roads when it's the traffic light is signaled green. Just like Rowett avoids overseas <laughs> tour. Uh... Bro, what is with these police accounts beefing with each other? The worst bathroom ever. Want to see a porta potty get caught in a tornado? The potty get caught in a tornado. Hey, what's with the copyright music, baby? Ew! Look at all the stuff coming out of it. In there. <laughs> no. Is a storm. What the hell? It's, it's like a low budget Doctor Who. I guess you'd call that the Turdis. Boo this man! Boo this man! So does everything that was a terrible day. Then like rain down on all the people below. <laughs> definitely wouldn't stand there filming to find out. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I've seen a few clips like that, you know, through the times of being on the internet. There was one in Australia that I believed happened and it went viral and this person was in it, I believe, and they were like flying in the air and shit. Um, literally, shit. They were flying in the air with shit. It's, it's insane, but... Yeah, nah, look, honestly, porta potties, like, because they're big in Australia, obviously, you know, like... For like building and construction sites, so thankfully we don't really use them anymore, like public toilets anymore in Australia. But I remember when I was growing up, there used to be like a fair bit of them, and you used to like have to use them sometimes. Oh my, most disgusting place to be. Fuck me dead. A German girl cried as her team lost in football. She received 29 lakhs to get consoled. <laughs> Bro, RCB fans would be the richest people on earth. <laughs> No. Uh, Indian version of Ohio. Baha man builds. Oop, pardon me, I just yawned. Uh, start up to train people on how to break into any ATM within 15 minutes. Arrested. Known as ATM Baba. <laughs> he was known behind many robberies in UP and Baha. I mean, shit, I'm not even gonna. Hey, hey. Don't hate the player, hate the game. But I, I, I respect the hustle. I mean, technically, he's not stealing from anyone except the banks. So, you know, what? Well, the bank. Mumbai fans after defeating, after defeat against Gujarat. Mumbai fans after watching RCB and CSK losing in two days. Should be common knowledge. The man, Sandeep. Better. Is he better than Bumrah? Been good, hasn't he? He's been really, really good, Sandeep, since getting brought in. I miss him, Punjab Kings legend. Really miss him. Baba averages more than Sachin and Virat at the time of being 28. I mean, look, this kind of sums it up right here. 27 laughing reacts. Uh, look. And again, I do not hate Baba. I enjoy watching him play cricket, but it's when it's, it's just really hard to take a lot of his statistics serious when a lot of it played on flat, shitty, terrible decks in, in Pakistan that were just flat that, you know, my nan could make a hundred on. So it, it's, it's really tough, but look, he has 17 centuries. He's averaging 60. He's, he's a great batsman. They have, you know, there's been a lot of mini bashing in there as well. It's... I don't think they compare, but... I mean, and look, if you're... Look, I'm not going to be fucking joking around. If anyone asked me out of the... Oh, I was about to say I would take Sachin in ODI, but I'd probably take Virat. But, yeah, no, I'd definitely take Kohli in. 
buy out of these three. Brutaraj, Brutaraj, Safaraz and Ishan and Makesh and Saini likely to be the standby for Team India. I mean, Safaraz makes sense. Makesh makes sense. Navdeep, I guess, makes sense. But Ishan? Isn't there a... Wouldn't Safaraz just be the backup keeper at that point? I don't know. I think I would rather see Safaraz than Ishan, though. What are you doing? He's MS, one of the most boring matches. I mean, it was an okay game. Like, I did watch most of the game last night, and then I went to bed, like, around, like, 3 a.m. or something. Uh, the man, Doni, he's not getting himself up the order. It's upsetting. You know, I think everyone was just waiting for the, the sexy hunk of a man to get out there and, and hit some fucking big sixes. But, anyways. Sanju then went out cheaply as well. It's, you know, like, what's... What are you even meant to watch? Butler didn't... I mean, although the match wasn't amazing, Jaius Wall innings was so fun to watch. That man went crazy to start off. And a third consecutive 50 for that man, Dubé. Yeah, starting to get going, isn't he? Um, he's been great. Thank you, Parag. The man, Durav Jural, yeah. It's completely... Yeah, he is locked in that position. And... Um, Rightfully deserves it. He finished off pretty well last night. Doni was not happy. If you were watching last night, that man Doni stared down the fielders. When they got a, a three off the last ball, Doni was... <laughs> Doni was about to start throwing hands and literally beat the shit out of all of them. Even I was scared through the TV. <laughs> Chennai to win. Well, there's your answer. I hope someone put money on Rajasthan because he gave you the answer. Top five Asian sport teams in March on Twitter. CSK, Al Nassar, RCB, Mumbai, and Al Halal. Why is Al Halal up that? Aren't they in that same league as Al Nassar? Who plays for them? That's notable. Is that where... Um... No, I have no idea. Uh, Reliance's Gio Cinema strikes a multi-year deal with Warner Bros. and HBO to stream their content in India. Okay, that's respect. Seems like Gio Cinema is getting bigger and bigger in India by the day. Like, they got that whole, you know, IPL streaming every game, 4K, you know, all those options, different commentary teams. Um, and now they're, you know, getting, what did they get? HBO and Warner Bros., which is two pretty big um, companies. Tom Moody, what's what's Moody's got? Uh, Yashasi Jaiswal is 21 and a generational talent. A genuine all-format player. Team India have a gem awaiting. Yeah, and he's only 21. Like, this kid's better than... You know, like, respectfully to Pritby Shaw, like, he's out. Like, he, he was the... He, you know, before below Shutman Gill, you kind of felt like he was that next up-and-coming young superstar from India. He's out the fucking door. Jaius Wall's in. Obviously, Dykewood's like 30 but or 28 or something. Him, Chukman, Ishan as well. Abhishek Sharma, if he can actually start making some runs. So They do. They they have a lot of these guys, but Jaius Wall just stands on top of them. Like Him and Shutman are pretty clear. And Jaius Wall, if there's any opportunities for like a, a T20 series coming up against Sri Lanka or Ireland or Bangladesh... Play Jaius Wall. It'd be a great opportunity. Rahane after getting selected. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, man. Don't he be like every city is mine? Yeah, pretty much. Um, it, the the yellow The yellow it's everywhere. After completing engineering life, expectation, reality. Bro wearing it, his orange cap with a beautiful message on it. <laughs> I don't even know what it says, but why would he wear an orange cap, for God's sake? Uh, most runs in a losing cause. of Virat! 3,100. David Shika. Hitman? Yeah. Yeah, that man Shika, damn. IPL team owners owns... Wait, what? Cricket takes football's route. Um, IPL franchises are six England players to quit international cricket and offered them a valish multi-million pound annual deal. And this might sound so dumb, 
but again, I'm coming like I I wouldn't do this at all. If I was playing professional cricket, if I'm let's say 24, 25 in the peak of my career and I'm offered the most amount of money that I'll ever get offered to, to just play only T20 leagues. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. If I'm 30, if I'm 33, 34, 35, absolutely. Take me away. I don't give a flying fuck. But if you're like, let's say Harry Brook or Liam Livingston or give me some other names or fucking, you know, any sort of guys like Cam Green or, um, you know, young Australians, like young up and coming superstars in the prime of their careers, you cannot be giving up international cricket for just T20. Sorry, but if I see guys like Cam Green or Harry Brook or I can't think of any other young superstars up and coming, but um, you guys get what I'm saying. It would it would be upsetting. Genuinely would be upsetting. So I'm totally fine if people like Stuart Broad want to sign it or like a fucking, I don't know, like a Jimmy Anderson or like a Mark Wood. No, even Mark Wood still has test matches left in him, but I wouldn't like to see. I, only if it's like veteran cricketers who, who are pretty much done with their international days, like a Faf Du Plessis or like you know, those sort of guys. This Rinku knock will be remembered forever, facts. Rinku Singh revealed that SRK made a phone call to him after he smashed five sixes. Sir told me that he'll come to my marriage and dance. Yes, sir. Yes, that is so good. Hey, shout out to SRK. Shout out to Rinku. Being so cool. New member in. Yeah, the man Washi. Ruled out of the entire IPL due to a hamster. So you've got Kane and Bumrah. Oh, yeah. You've got that man Washi. You've got Krishna in there. You've got Chiadri. You've got Mohsin Khan. You've got uh, Hazelwood at the moment. He's still uh, resting up in that academy. Who else is there? There's a few other injuries, I forget. Oh, Besto, he'd be up there. The table is spicing up. Ooh, okay. The Rajasthan into first. GTC. And honestly, this top four right here, it's going to be hard to get one of these teams out of the top four. Like, I feel like these are probably the, the four best teams right now. And then you've got RCB, Punjab, who are like the next two teams who sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. And then you've got Kolkata and Mumbai, who are like a... They're also, you know, like a sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit, but just a few extra times they're a little bit worse. And then you've got SRH and DC. And to be fair, you know, they can still make the playoffs, but um, I wouldn't be too hopeful. Kava Moran, I think she's going to fucking... She's going to publicly execute that man Harry Brook if he doesn't score some more runs. <laughs> Dhoni on Sawai Man Singh Stadium. Oh, I think my first ODI 100 in Vizard gave me some, some 10 games, but the 183 over here gave me the chance for one year, so this venue is close to my heart. It's a, it's a really nice venue down there. It's like really flat. It's actually kind of weird, but I feel like if they, I know, I know that Rajasthan may not have the most fans, but I feel like if they added like one little stand going up, I don't know, it would kind of add just a little bit more. The last thing right here, we've got the Dali Capitals is the only IPL team whose coaching staff can bat better than their current batting lineup. <laughs> Bro, imagine if you stuck these three out there. Nah, I'm not even going to lie. This, this like, honestly, you could stick these three out there right now for someone like Safaraz, Ripal Patel, Lalit Yadav. Uh, who else is there? Fuck. Look, you could honestly play them in front of Mitch Marsh the way he's fucking playing too. So, hey, that is going to cap us off for today's meme episode. I was actually having some problems with my microphone before recording. Like, it was making that whole robot sound and that sort of annoying shit. So... Hopefully this video sounds all good. I edit this one, get this one uploaded. And hey, I hope we all enjoy the rest of our Friday. Um, I'm definitely going to try and have some videos on the weekends. I know weekends can be a dry spot for videos, but 
life just can get in the way. But hey, we're going to try our best. I hope we all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like. Shout out to Washington Sundar for joining the Academy. Bye, everyone. In the next one.